Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, quarter uh, circle uh, with the center uh, D fully inscribed uh, in a square uh, A, B, C, D as you can see in this given diagram. And moreover, uh, this uh, square uh, A, B, C, D is uh, divided into two rectangles. This uh, blue rectangle uh, A, E, F, D and this uh, other red rectangle uh, EBCF such that uh, this uh, yellow shaded region area this uh, area is equal to this uh, yellow shaded uh, region area as well in other words uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded region is uh, being uh, represented by s centimeter square then this uh, yellow shaded region area is uh, s centimeter square as well and furthermore uh, this uh, horizontal segment uh, a e is uh, pi centimeter and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, red rectangle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, red uh, rectangle uh, EBCF. So therefore let's recall this uh, equation and make an observation we can see that the red rectangle area is going to be equal to the square ABCD area minus uh, the area of the blue rectangle uh, AEFD. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate uh, the area of this uh, square uh, ABCD and uh, the area of this uh, rectangle AEFD as well. And here's our next step. I am going to label uh, the radius uh, of this quarter circle as uh, lowercase r and this uh, radius uh, CD as uh, lowercase uh, r as well. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, radius uh, R. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, white uh, area. This I'm going to label this one uh, as uh, green uh, shaded uh, region uh, area. And I'm going to label uh, this uh, green shaded region area as uh, uppercase A centimeter square. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi r square, where lowercase r is the radius. And since we are dealing with this uh, quarter circle, so therefore uh, the quarter circle area is going to be pi times uh, r square, and I'm going to divide it uh, by four. And now let's make an observation. We can see the total quarter circle area is going to be this uh, uppercase a area plus uh, this uh, yellow shaded area s so therefore uh, this uh, left hand side i can uh, write uh, a plus uh, s so therefore uh, this equation could be written as uh, uppercase a plus uh, s uh, area is going to be equal to pi r square divided by 4 and i'm going to label this one as our equation number one and now we are going to calculate the area of the rectangle uh, AEFD. And now let's recall the area of rectangle formula. Area is always equal to length uh, times width uh, of the rectangle. And in our case, uh, the length of this uh, rectangle is uh, lowercase r, whereas the width of this uh, rectangle is uh, pi. So therefore, uh, the rectangle uh, AEFD area turns out to be pi times uh, r and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, rectangle uh, a e f d area is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two areas this uh, s area and this uppercase a area so therefore i'm going to substitute uh, this uh, rectangle a e f d area with uh, uppercase a plus uh, s so therefore this equation is going to become uppercase A plus S area equals to 
pi times uh, r and I'm going to label this one as our equation number two. And now we are ended up with these uh, two equations, equation one and equation two. And now we are going to compare uh, these two equations. We can see our left hand sides are uh, identical. So therefore, uh, we are going to equate uh, the right hand sides uh, as well. So therefore, I can write uh, pi times uh, r square divided by 4 is going to be equal to pi times uh, r. And now I'm going to tweak the right hand side. I can write uh, pi times r divided by 1. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So therefore, we can write uh, pi times uh, r square equals to 4 times uh, pi times r. And now I am going to divide both sides uh, by pi times r and this side uh, pi times r as well. And here if we simplify the left hand side that is simply is going to give us uh, lowercase r equals to and the right hand side this pi r and pi r are gone. So this is going to be equal to 4. So therefore our lowercase r radius value turns out to be 4. So thus our uh, radius lowercase r value turns out to be 4 centimeter. And now let's focus uh, on this equation once again. The rectangle AEFT area equals to pi times r. And we know our r value is 4. So I'm going to substitute that value 4 over here. So therefore uh, this is going to become simply 4 times uh, pi. So thus the rectangle AEFT area turns out to be 4 times pi. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, whole uh, square uh, A, B, C, D. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area is always equal to S square, where S represents the side length of the square. And in our case, uh, the side length of this uh, square is lowercase r. And our lowercase r value is uh, 4. So therefore, uh, this square A, B, C, D area is going to be for square and that is going to give us uh, 16. So thus the square ABCD area turns out to be 16 centimeter square. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, red uh, rectangle. So therefore let's recall this equation once again. The red rectangle area equals to the square ABCD area minus the area of the rectangle AEFT. And we already figured out uh, our uh, square ABCD area as 16 and uh, the rectangle AEFT area as 4 times pi. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this equation. So our square area is uh, 16 minus the rectangle AEFT area is 4 times uh, pi and that is going to be equal to centimeter square. So thus the area of this uh, red rectangle turns out to be 16 minus uh, 4 times pi centimeter square. And that's going to be equal to approximately 3.43 centimeter square as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.